At the end of this eight minute video, you'll have added a fourth set of Hebrew letters to your repertoire. But before we move on, let's review what you learned in the last video. Name this letter. Kaf. What sound does it make with a dot inside? K. And what sound does it make without a dot? Ch. Name this letter. It's final chaf, or chaf sofit, the form of kaf that appears at the end of a word. Read this word. Kach. It means thus, or like this. What's this letter? Lamed. What sound does it make? L. Remember what sound the letter Vav makes with a dot over it? O. This dot over the Vav, a Cholam, can be found over other letters as well, still making the O sound most of the time. For example, try reading this word. It's Lo and means no. Try reading this word. Kol, meaning all. What's this letter? Mem. And this one? Final mem or mem sofit. Read this word. Malka, it means queen. And this word, him, it means they. Read this sentence. Him ochlim, it means they are eating. Now, without vowel marks. Ready for more? Yala. This is the letter Nun. It looks kind of like a nose. Nun makes the N sound. And here's a Nun as it appears at the end of a word. It looks kind of like a very long nose. This is final Nun or Nun Sofit. Read this word. Yain, it means wine. And this one. Nun, it's the name of the letter spelled out. This is the letter Samech. It's just a circle. Samech makes the S sound. Try this word. Sus, it means horse. And this one. Susim. It means horses. Try to read it without the vowel marks. This is the letter Ein. Ein looks a bit like an empty teapot. Like Aleph, Ein makes the A uh sound, or takes on the sound of the vowel connected to it. But unlike Aleph, the letter Ein is never silent. Read this word. Ayn. It's the name of the letter spelled out, and it's also the word for I. Read this phrase. Gan Eden. It's the original Hebrew for the Garden of Eden. Try reading this sentence. Ani yodea. It's I know when a male is speaking. Ain is one of the few letters that will show a patach vowel at the end of a word, 
Another such letter is Chet, where the first, where first the A vowel is pronounced, and only then the Ch sound. Try reading this name. Noach. It's the original Hebrew for Noah. This is the letter Pe. It looks like the profile of someone's face. With a dot, Pe makes a hard P sound. Without a dot, Pe makes a soft F sound and is called a Fe. When Pe appears at the end of a word, its bottom drops off. This is final Fe, or Fe Sofit. Read this word. Af. It means nose. Read this one. Sufa. It means storm. And this one. Panim. It means face. Now without vowels. Let's review. Name this letter. Nun. And this letter. Final nun or nun sofit. And this one. Samech. And this one. Ain. Name this letter. Pe. And this letter? Fe. And this one? Final Fe or Fe Sofit. Read this word. Anan. It means cloud. Read this one. Pe. It means mouth. Read these words. Af, pe, panim. And this one. Yefe. It means nice or pretty. And this word. Hasof. It means the end. Now you know seven more Hebrew characters. Just a few more to go. Yafemeod. Very nice. Take a break or move on to the next video.